back to back unsuccessful fourth down try still seven to three as we go down to Eamon. Eamon what's up. Well Mark so much emphasis on the ground game in this matchup even the Falcon had trouble up in the air. We go back to the pregame festivities part of the show was supposed to be the bird that's as he's affectionately known in Colorado Springs was supposed to swoop in and take the lure and then fly back off. I guess he didn't like what was on the menu or he knew that the whole game was going to be on the ground because he never made it into the stadium. They're still trying to track him down but the bird flew the coop oh. in the pregame festivities. <laughs> maybe he wasn't into uh, maybe he had enough option football on the year and uh, decided to go fly go check out another game somewhere. Huh? That's a, that might be a first. They're usually pretty good at that. Zach Kauth making the catch that time for the Falcons. Report Louisiana glow at night. Happy holidays everyone. The score 14 7 Air Force with the lead as we go down to Amon on the field. Well, Mark I know you coach and all of America still want to know about the update on the Falcon the bird that was supposed to perform the pregame festivities. This is back before pregame. He was supposed to swoop on down to the field and grab some lunch but uh, they were waiting for him. He never made it down to the field. They packed up and went looking for him and right now on the sidelines they tell me that Colonel Reimer is the man in charge of finding him and he's not here so they think he's out in Shreveport still looking for the bird. So uh, right now with uh, under 11 minutes to play there's an APB out for a Falcon in Shreveport. Louisiana. Hey, Eamon, they brought in special ops. <laughs> they brought in the special ops unit to try and find them. Nathan Walker on the run picks up six on the play. They went despite the fact that the Falcon uh, flew the coop early. Uh, Air Force Academy with a seven point lead here in the fourth quarter, about ten and a half to go. I uh, just want to update a story that. Uh, Heyman reported at the top of the show the Falcon that was supposed to pick up the meal at the top of the show was recently found some 25 minutes ago in downtown in Shreveport, Louisiana. So that's the good news. They called in the special ops unit and found it. But uh, what, what do you think they're going to do with that Falcon, man? I mean, that's a little insubordination, right? <laughs> I don't usually put up with that at the academy. Might be spending a little time in the hole. Trust me, everything's better when you win. <laughs> if they get out of here and get a win, they forgive them. That bodes well for the Falcon. Was <laughs> a look at the aforementioned Falcon. They found him in downtown Shreveport. Air Force gets their ninth win of the season. Back-to-back -back bowl wins for Georgia Tech. Ends up six and seven. First losing season. Lost five of their last six games. Troy Calhoun with the customary obligatory Gatorade shower. As Air Force will win it. Happiest guy in the stadium is that Falcon. <laughs> he's off the hook. Yeah, he's okay now. ESPN3.com for our trophy presentation. There's been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. There's the Falcon. He found his way back tonight. And the Falcons on the field found their way against Georgia Tech. For Bob Davey and our entire production crew, I'm Mark Jones. Right now we send it to the studio and Jonathan Coachman.